Matt Powell just keeps releasing the stupid, doesn't he? Well, hello, dearest viewer, and welcome back to my little corner of the YouTubies. Thank you very much for joining me. Now, I wasn't going to do a Matt Powell video for a few weeks. I was just going to leave him alone and let him wallow in his own stupidness. But he keeps releasing the stupid. And I feel an obligation to respond to that stupid and guide him on the right path. Not really. I'm doing this video because he features little old me. Me in his brand new video. So... Before we get to that video, we're going to look at a pinned comment that he wrote himself, apparently. So we're going to have a look at that pinned comment. And we're going to laugh at it and mock it in the way that it deserves. So, please, bear with me while I punch it up. Thank you. And as if by magic, whoosh, it appears. Anyway, let's have a look at this. Matt Powell or Fithel. I figured it was time to give these folks a good knockout punch. Ouch. They need a swift kick in the pants. Ouch. By the way, I'm going to start making some different content. I want to focus on Christ with this channel more. Well, Matt. We know, and you know, why you are going to do, start doing different content. It's because your ego cannot take the punishment of your videos getting debunked every single time you release one. Every single time you come out with a stupid, there's about two or three debunking videos coming out within a couple of days. And your, like I said, your ego cannot take that. This is why you only have people commenting on your channel that agree with you. Because you have a massive, massive ego. And for a young kid like yourself, that's got to hurt. That's really got to hurt. Anyway, let's have a look at, let's have a laugh at, and let's mock mercilessly your video. Take it away, Matt. The floor is all yours. This is um, Matt Powell. From his YouTube channel, Matt Powell Official. Uh, I don't know why he's got an official on the end of it, but there you go. Yes, Matt Powell is a young earth creationist and he is an unbelievable moron and science denying half wit. Um, he puts all his faith and trust in the Bible. Anyway, Matt, the floor is all yours. Just who is that sexy man with a sexy Boltonian accent? It must be me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Matt, for chopping me off one video and putting me in another video. What a vivid imagination you have. But that's par for the course, isn't it? You're a young earth creationist, so you do have a very vivid imagination. Google says if you type in when monkeys surf, feel free to just type that in if you want on your phone. I won't judge you. Um, when monkeys surfed, these are the first things that pop up. Now, evolution literally teaches that monkeys, they had to get to South America somehow because they found fossils over there. So the only way that monkeys could have gotten to the United States from Africa was surfing. No, they sailed to South America and then they started to emigrate. Uh, you know, over millions of years, and that's why they have today monkey fossils in North America. Perfectly feasible when you've got like masses and masses of vegetation and trees, etc., etc., falling into the sea, forming rafts, and then some monkeys get left behind, and some monkeys start floating off into the distance, and then that's it because the continents were quite a bit close together back then, anyway. So, number one, debunked. They teach that dinosaurs devolved into chickens. Yes, science has compelling evidence that dinosaurs evolved into chickens. Now, folks, if it's survival of the fittest, only the strongest survive in evolution theory. No, stop misrepresenting evolution. Evolution isn't survival of the fittest. It isn't only the strongest survive. 
Evolution is descent with inherent genetic modification. Simples. Which one is stronger? They say, well, if you have a hundred or a thousand chickens, I, I'm sorry, they're not going to win against their, their great, 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 great grandfather. They went from the largest creature that could eat you down to my favorite lunch at KFC. Here you go, misrepresenting things. There's no such thing as evolving down. All chickens are classed as dinosaurs now. Just because something was very, very big millions of years ago and it's now suddenly very, very small, you think that they can't be related. Wrong. Chickens are now classed as dinosaurs. All birds are dinosaurs. It is as simple as that. And Aaron Ra is going to explain something to you. So listen up. Because it was a perfect dinosaur skeleton that just had feathers on it. And now we know that there are a host of dinosaurs that were completely feathered, including Velociraptor. I'm sure you've heard of Velociraptor, right? Did you know they were fully plumed? Fully plumed, covered in feathers. Like I said, if you're an evolutionist and you want to find dinosaurs, you could find living ones today. Here in my hand, I actually hold proof of evolution. No, you show evidence for evolution. Evidence. Do I ever want to hear about dinosaurs? <laughs> Turns out that, uh, so this is a new report from British scientists, and they said that basically the dinosaurs, they also warmed the planet, uh, thanks to all the gas that they emitted from eating all the leafy plants. And in all, they emitted a total of 520 million tons per year of global methane, which is, they say, the level comparable to the total given off today by animals and industrial activity. Yes, that's exactly what it says in the study, and I've read that study, but nowhere in that study does it say that dinosaurs fatted themselves into extinction. Absolutely nowhere. So they, they farted their way to extinction. Absolutely wrong. As I've just said, nowhere in that study does it say that dinosaurs fatted themselves into extinction. That is the conclusion that that rather attractive television host came to. And that is the conclusion that Matt Powell himself came to. And he's still wrong. And she's wrong. I wonder if she's single. Mm. They literally teach that dinosaurs farted themselves to death. Wrong. And you couldn't be more wronger. Now, if I didn't mention it before, I'm going to mention it now. I challenge you, Matt Powell, to a debate. I know that you will watch this video because your ego will command you to. So, I am challenging you to a debate and the only topic of the debate will be, does evolution teach that dinosaurs farted themselves to death? That's the only topic that we will discuss and we can do it on agree to disagree, we can do it on modern day debate, I don't care which one. Either one suits me fine. You bring your evidence, I'll bring my evidence, and we'll debate the evidence. And that's it. I will be polite, I will be professional, and I will be courteous throughout that debate. And I give you my word. I will do that. So, the ball is in your court. That they, and then one guy says, well, you have misrepresented, Matt, you have misrepresented us. We believe that they, they tooted and it warmed the environment. That sounds even more stupid. They tooted and warmed the planet. I'm going to keep warmed the planet in mind because somebody's going to come up in a minute and say the exact opposite. But cows, cows alone, there's about 1.4 billion cows on the planet and they produce, well, each one produces 200, between 250 and 500 litres of methane per day. Imagine dinosaurs eating vegetation and etc producing between 250 and 500 litres per day over millions of years. Not just thousands, not just centuries, over millions of years. Does it not make sense that that would contribute to global warming? It does to me. And that's why they died. They died from the global warming. <laughs> Dinosaurs did fart themselves into extinction. You are using 
a woman. A woman that looks like she's about to check into the Betty Ford Clinic. A woman that says the exact opposite of what you're claiming. And this is the third time you've used this woman now. <laughs> she's saying the exact opposite and you're using her as a citation. Oh, for the love of God. Oh. All their greenhouse gases what caused climate change. Which caused, uh, you know, an ice age and they all froze to death. So which one is it? This woman is saying that they froze themselves to death. You're saying that they gassed themselves to death. So which one is it? Which one is it? Come on. Plus, evolution doesn't teach that anyway. It doesn't teach that they froze themselves to death. It certainly doesn't teach that they gassed themselves to death. And you're still using that citation from the British scientists. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. The most popular theory is one catastrophic event, like an asteroid or an enormous volcano. And that's it. That's the most, Those are the most popular theories. But we don't know for absolute certainty. And that's the honest answer. Why don't you try being honest just for once in your life? And this stuff is just crazy, but this is the crowd that wants to tell you not to keep your purity. They think that they have the advice for life. No, there's only one group of people that um, give out the advice for life, and that's homophobic religious zealots like yourself. Those are the only people that give out advice for life. One of your videos says why you should get married. Now, if that's not giving out advice for life, I don't know what is. God, oh my God. I can't deal with that anymore. That's it. I'm, I'm done. I might come back to this video in future weeks or months, um, but it's not really a high priority for me because there's so much stupid in it. Anyway, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and join me this coming Sunday for the Sunday Stupid 9pm.